Hi guys, welcome to today's session. This is Sana Khan, your math master teacher from Vedantu. And I am here back again with the lectures of the chapter Quadratic Equations. Okay, so what's up buddies? How was your Saturday and Sunday? I hope you guys had fun and I hope you enjoyed your weekends and super ready for the long week days that we are going to have. <laughs> Hi Sanjeev, hi Nitesh, hi Alku, hi Army Bling, hi Mika or Maika, what's your name? Uh, Bhumi, okay. Hi Bhumi, what's up? What's up? Good evening all of you, welcome everybody. Hi Siddharth. So, how's life going on? How's, how's your life? What's up with you all? Sab badiya? Hi Madhav, hi Onik. Hi Pranav. Hi Angel. Hello Sudhiksha. Okay, best life going on. Kya baat hai Onik? That's, that's good to hear about that. Hi Dikshita. Chalo bhai. So, bachcho. Pichle lecture mein humne dekha tha how to form quadratic equation. Now, in this lecture we are going to learn about solving a quadratic equation how to solve a quadratic equation how to basically find out the values of the unknown variables inside it right so today we'll be learning about the different methods how can we find out the solution of a quadratic equation let's begin so starting the lecture with my introduction first, my name is Sana Khan, I'm your mathematics master teacher from Vedantu who has an experience of five years for teaching maths and a software engineer by degree from an IT right. Now, if you are new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe because we are going to bring up a lot of fun sessions for you all so that you can enjoy each and every session very nicely. Okay, and also do hit the like button if you enjoy the lecture. Hi Chitra. Hi Ram Kishan. I'm good. I'm doing great. How are you? Okay. Why is my one hair flying somewhere? Like, why is this hair flying like this? I don't know. It looks very odd. Hi Ilma. Mark the attendance. Very nice. Okay. So, in the last class, I gave you guys homework. So, the homework was check whether you can solve the following quadratic equation by factorization. So, once we <coughs> factorize the equation, we are getting it into the form of 3x square minus 6x plus 2. Now, the right answer is no, it cannot be solved by factorization. And do you know this question I have given homework in homework? Because today we are going to study about this. Today we are going to study that the equations that we can't factorize from factorization, how do we solve them by other method? Alright, so there are only three students uh, who have answered this Jyoti, Onik and Harshit. So, very good and very well done for solving it correctly. Okay. Chalo. So, are we ready to start? Jaldi se mujhe de do. High five and let's begin the class without wasting any time. Alright. Shuru kare. Shall we start now? Yes. Okay. So, Till now, we have already learned how do we form an equation. Like we have a real life scenario where we need a quadratic equation. So we know how to form the equation out of that word problem. Now we need to learn how do we solve those equations to get the value of x, y and z. Yani ki the unknown variables. Okay. Okay. Um, yes, Onik, they have a solution which are called as virtual, sorry. Imaginary values. Imaginary values ke baare mein you will learn later on in class 10th. In, not in class 10th, I think in class 11th, maybe. Complex numbers. Okay, Dikshita, it will be tomorrow. Kal, class 9 ka session kal hai, kal hai, kal hai, tomorrow. Okay, so let me uh, first solve this. Let's try to solve this equation by method number 1. Konsa method sikha tha amne pichle class mein? Which method have we learned in the last class? Do you all remember? Which method have we learned in the last class? Hmm. 
Yes. So we have learned splitting the middle term, also known as factorization. Right. So we have learned splitting the middle term, aka factorization. Right. So let us try to apply it over here. Okay. So let us multiply 25x into x. So it is 25x square plus 25x plus 4 is equal to 0. Minus 4 will come this side plus 4 ban jayega. Okay. Now can you split the middle term? Can you split the middle term to do the factorization? So how should we split the middle term? 25 should be split in such a way that it should be equal to 25 into 4 that is 100. Ab 100 ka factorization kaise kar sakte hain? Very good Alku, absolutely right. Alku, are you Alku, my Alku or some other Alku? Hi Nidhu, how are you after such a long time? I missed you so much. Yes, so if we split the middle term as 20x, plus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0, then we can get the uh, simplified, uh, like we can factorize it further, okay. So, let's try to find out what is common in both of them. So, they have 5 as common, so 5x as common, so what is remaining 5x plus 4. Now, here only 1 is common, nothing else is common, so 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, we are getting 5x plus 1 multiplied by 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, this is 5x plus 1 is equal to 0 and 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. And hence, what is the value of x? Very good. Alku, very good. Onik, very good. Pranay, Pranav, very good. Nirmali, very good. Acha, okay, Alku, got it. And the right answer is minus 4 by 5, minus 1 by 5. Simple. Okay. Mary Maths, achhi kaise hui? Once Mary Maths na bohat kharaab thi. Okay. And kabhi kabhi mere bure marks bhi aaj jate thi. So what I did is I practiced a lot. Okay. So how did I improve my mathematics? I practiced a lot of questions from R.D. R.D. Sharma and R.S. Agrawal. Especially in class 11th and 12th. RDRS ka aisa koi question nahi tha jo maine practice nahi kiya tha. Literally, there was not one question that I didn't practice. So, I practiced a lot to make math maths easier for me. Yes. Hi, Kanika. Okay. Aditya, ye quadratic equation ka chapter hai. Thik hai? Chalo bhai. Agla question. A square x square minus 3abx plus 2b square is equal to 0. Now, this is interesting. Interesting question hai. Try to solve it. Oh, that's so awesome, Nidu. Kya baat hai, kya baat hai. But why are you not attending classes on Young Wonders? Hello, Kanika. Oh, thank you, Alku. Yes, beta. Always there for you. Yes. Is it tough or you can do it? It's not that tough. See, it is basically telling... Our uh, middle term should be split in such a way that the product is equal to the product is equal to 2a square b square. This should be the product, right? So let us try to split it as minus 2abx minus 1abx plus 2b square is equal to 0. Now, will it give us 2a square b square? Yes. 2 ones are 2, ab into ab, a square, b square, right? So, now let us take out as common, ax as common. So, what is remaining? ax minus 2b and here minus b as common. So, ax minus 2b is equal to 0. So, this is ax minus 2b and ax minus b is equal to 0. Wow, you guys are super fast. Very good. Very good. Nirmali, very good. Prana, very good. Alku, very good. Kya baat hai? Absolutely right. So, ax minus 2b is equal to 0 and ax minus b is equal to 0. 
सो एक्स विल बी टू बी अपॉन ए एंड एक्स विल बी बी अपॉन ए असम अच्छा ओके okay, नेदू कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं सॉरी बोलने वाली बात नहीं मैं तो बस पूछ रही थी क्यों नहीं आई राइट सो दिस इज द सोल्यूशन इट इज सुपर डुपर इजी ये सबसे बन जाएगा हाई कनिका क्या बात है आई एम सो हैप्पी टू सी दैट यू ऑल आर एबल टू डू इट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड थैंक यू कुसुमा नाउ वॉट अबाउट द इक्वेशन विच वी के नॉट सॉल्व बाई फैक्ट्राइजेशन उन इक्वेशन का क्या जिसको हम मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिट करके सॉल्व नहीं कर सकते हैं जैसे कभी कभी हमें ऐसे कॉम्प्लेक्स क्वेश्चन मिल जाते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू रूट टू एक्स प्लस वन इज गल टू जीरो सो इट बी लाइक हाउ शुड वी स्प्लिट इट सो दैट द प्रोडक्ट इज टू एंड द सम इज टू रूट टू दट्स नॉट पॉसिबल लाइक वी आर अनेबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दट वॉट शुड वी डू सो इन सच काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन वेर यू के नॉट अप्लाई और यू आर फाइंडिंग इट डिफिकल्ट टू अप्लाई स्प्लिटिंग द मिडिल टर्म यू कैन सॉल्व क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन बाय अदर मेथड्स एज वेल ठीक है आप क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन को अदर मेथड से भी सॉल्व कर सकते हो पहला मेथड होता है मिडिल टर्म मेथड जो हम ऑलरेडी पढ़ चुके हैं सेकेंड इज कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर मेथड विच इज आउट ऑफ सिलेबस सो वी विल नॉट स्टडी अबाउट इट एंड द थर्ड वन इज क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला सो टूडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला वी क्विज करेंगे निर्मली वी क्विज करेंगे टेंशन मत लो गुलाबो इज वेरी गुड निदू एंड पोलू इज ऑल्सो डूइंग ग्रेट ठीक है चलो सो वट इज द क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला इट सीज दैट द रूट ऑफ अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन of the standard form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 can be found out with the help of formula x is equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac upon 2a you have to ratta mar this you have to memorize this minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a This is how you find out the root of an equation. Okay, you have to memorize this. You have to remember this. Otherwise, you will not be able to solve. Now, how to apply this? Step number one: get the equation in standard form. It is very important that your equation should be in standard form. Now, find out what is a, what is b, what is c. so here in this situation a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 5 c is equal to minus 24 right put everything in the formula minus b yani minus of minus 5 plus minus root over minus uh, sorry b square minus 4 ac and then when you further solve it 25 minus uh, 4 into 24 will be 121. So 5 plus minus 121 2. What is the square root of 121? 11. So further we will solve it as 5 plus 11 upon 2. 5 minus 11 upon 2. I know समझ में नहीं आ रहा होगा. Let me solve one equation for you. ठीक है. एक equation में solve करके बताती हूँ आपको. So this is my equation in the standard form. In this equation a is 1. b is minus 7 c is 12 let us put it in the formula so x is equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac upon 2a so this is equal to minus of minus 7 plus minus root over minus 7 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 12 upon 2 into 1 what is the answer minus of minus 7 plus 7 plus minus root over 7 7s are 49 12 4s are 48 whole divided by 2 1s are 2 right so what are we getting we are getting 7 plus minus root over 49 minus 48 upon 2 so this is equal to 7 plus minus 
root over 1 upon 2. So, okay. So, this is basically 7 plus minus 1 upon 2. Now, what is the meaning of plus minus? Plus minus ka matlab, ek bar plus lenge, ek bar minus lenge. So, basically, bachcho, what are we getting the answer here? So, our answer will be, our answer will be, x is equal to 7 plus 1 upon 2 and x is equal to 7 minus 1 upon 2. What is 7 plus 1? 8 upon 2. What is 7 minus 1? 6 upon 2. So, therefore, x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 3. That is our answer, right? So, first of all, we will substitute the values. Then we are getting x as 7 plus 1 upon 2, 7 minus 1 upon 2. And that's how we will solve it, okay? Kese ko koi doubt, anybody having doubt in this, that how are we doing it? Why is it plus and minus? Good question, Dheshna. Let me answer that to you. So, basically, uh, Dheshna, what happens is, wait a second, my mic is giving me problem. Hi, Sanmi. Kya haal hai, kya haal hai. Okay. Why is it plus minus? Thik hai. Dheshna, beta, listen to me very, very carefully. What is the square of 2, Dheshna? What is the square of 2? What is the square of 2? Tell me. What is the square of 2? 4. Similarly, Dheshna, what is the square of minus 2? Again 4, right? So basically, Dheshna, if I ask you, what is the square root of 4? So the square root of 4 can be 2 or minus 2. Am I right or wrong? What should be the square root of 4? So the square root of 4 can be 2 or minus 2. Nidhu, you young vendors. Hanji, Nidhu, I am studying. Right? So, square root of 4 can be 2 or minus 2. Therefore, we are writing plus minus. Ab samajh mein aaya, hum plus minus kyu likhte hain? Because square root of 4 can be plus minus 2. It can either be plus 2 or minus 2. Both are right. Therefore, we write square, uh, plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac. Now, understood Deshna, why are we writing plus and minus? Good question, by the way. Kyu uh, nahi, Sanvi? Kyu nahi? Kyu nahi, Miss Karungi? Let us solve one more example based on the same concept. Solve the quadratic equation using the quadratic formula x plus 3 whole square minus 81 is equal to 0. Awesome, mother. So, what we will get when we are squaring it? So, x plus 3 whole square is x square plus 3 2 is a 6 x plus 3 3 is a 9 minus 81 is equal to 0. What is the standard form? First we have to convert it into standard form, right? So it will be x square plus 6 x minus 72 is equal to 0. Am I right or wrong? Which one, Ritwik? x square plus 6x minus 72 is equal to 0. Now, what is a? a is 1, b is 6, c is minus 72. Got it? Which question, Ritwik? This question, I have already explained this question. Can you watch the replay? How matlab kya plus minus kaise aya? Are you asking that? Or the entire question. I will not explain entire question. I can explain concept if you want. Okay. Yes. So, A is coming 1. B is coming 6. C is coming minus 72. Yes. Very good. 
Now let us solve it further. So let me minimize myself. It will be x square is minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So it is minus 6 plus minus root over 6 square minus 4 into 1 into minus 72 whole upon 2a. So uh, sorry, what is a? a is again 1. So this is minus 6 plus minus root over 36 plus 4 to the 8, 7 4 the 28, 288 upon 2. So this is minus 6 plus minus root over 8 plus 6 is 6 to the 30, 14, 4 carry over 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2 carry over 1 and 324 divided by 2. See, okay? Um, yes. So finally, what is the square root of 324? It is, it is, uh, we have to factorize. Hmm. Ah, it is 18. Got it. 18. So, the square root of 324 is 18. So, minus 6 plus minus 18 upon 2. So, what are the values of x that you are getting? So, you will get x is minus 6 plus 18 upon 2 or minus 6 minus 18 upon 2. Minus 6 plus 18 is 12. So, 12 upon 2. Or you are getting uh, minus 24 upon 2. So, 6 or minus 12. These are the values you are getting for value of x. Yes, very good. So, x is coming out to be 6 or minus 12. Everybody is getting 6 or minus 12. 6 baje nidu. 6 baje milenge. Bye-bye. All right, so I hope that you all are able to apply the quadratic equation formula to find out the roots of the equation. The formula is very simple. The formula is pretty simple. Hey, now what you have to do is just find out what is A, what is B, what is C. Put everything in this formula, find out the square root and then uh, do once. Once you will put plus, one you will put minus. And you'll get the two roots. That is so simple, right? That is so simple. All right. So, please practice this question. It is your homework. Practice it and let me know the answer in the comment section, whether you are able to solve it or not. All right, guys. Now, are you all excited and ready for the week quiz? So, what is this week quiz? This week quiz is basically for your practice. It is a live week quiz that we are going to take right now. So, if you want week quiz, participate karna chahte hai, let's just go to our video, Solving Quadratic Equations. In the description, you have the link. Click here to play the week quiz now. Click on this link. A website will open and you will just log in and be able to... Uh oh Ready? Come on. It is week quiz time. Get it ready. Otherwise, what you can do, you can also go to Google Chrome and use the code 225468. Everybody, please join. And 
who is going to win today's week quiz who is going to win it chalo let me go to the joining screen let's 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 see how many students we have we have very few students till now very sad where are others Hi Shweta. Chalo ready? Start kare. Should I start? You have to simply join in the week quiz link jo hai wo video ke description mein diya hua hai. Please join and let's see you can solve it or not. Chalo I'm going to start now, theek hai? So, first question on your screen. Of course, Nidu. Of course, solve the following quadratic equation: forty-eight x square minus thirteen x minus one is equal to zero. Take your time. Forty-eight x square minus thirteen x minus one is equal to zero. What is right answer? Five seconds more. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. And we have two confusing answers. Oh, oh, oh! How is this possible? Wait, I have to solve this question. क्योंकि इतने सारे बच्चों का गलत कैसे हो गया? Wait. 48x square minus 13x. 48x square minus 13x minus 1. This is the question, right? So it will be minus b plus minus root over b square is 13 square minus 4 into 48 into minus 1. 4ac, right? So this is 13 plus minus Root over one sixty nine minus eight eight four the thirty two two carry over three four four sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen one ninety two oh oh sorry plus one ninety two why am I getting four eight four the thirty two two carry over three four four sixteen seventeen eighteen nine ha one ninety two upon two into forty eight that will also be there so thirteen plus minus root over nine plus two eleven one carry over one Six, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Six carry over one, three hundred sixty-one upon two into forty-eight. What is the square root of three hundred sixty-one? It is uh, two, then one, so then we get one sixty-one. So one plus one, two, two in dash. Uh, no, one, one, so. One, two, and dash. Hmm. Then we want one. Nine हो सकता है क्या? Is it nine का? Nine nine eighty one one carry over eight nine two eighty ninety twenty 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 four. No, we are not getting two forty one. Then what is it? Is it not a perfect square number? Thirteen square. Hmm hmm hmm. Or can we also nineteen only na? Nineteen is the square root of it. I think nineteen is the square root of it. One second. Ha, nineteen correct. 
So we are getting 13 plus 19 upon 2 into 48. 13 minus 19 upon 2 into 48. So we are getting 13 plus 19 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 2 carry over 1, 32 upon 2 into 48. So it is 2, uh, um, 2 16 the 32, 16 million 16 fours of, uh, 16 threes of 48. So, 1 by 3 are I. Oh, are we getting? Ha, 1 by 3, correct. Plus 1 by 3 are I. And the other root is minus 3 upon 2 into 48 minus 1 upon 16. Ha, correct. Hai. Option D, correct. Hai, Option A and C is not the right answer. Time come par gaya. That can be one thing. Okay, ugly question says other time milega aapko. So, on the leaderboard, we have uh, nobody as right because nobody could do it right. Koi baat nahi. Agli question se zyada time milega aapko. Now, 1 minute 30 seconds given to you all. Solve this. x square minus 3 root 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. Apply the quadratic formula. Hi Sakshi, what's up? How are you? Ravi Vita, my Instagram page is open. You don't need to send any requests. It's a, request. it's a public page. I'm also doing great, Sakshi. Come on, this time we can get right answer from all of you, right? Come on, Macho. Yes, Nidu. <laughs> Your timeline is increasing, hai na? Okay. Again, only two students could give it right. Q, bacho. Hi, Asha. On the leaderboard, Nandita, Manpreet, Nitesh, Ritu, Avinash, Bhumi, Kanika, Onik, Dikshit, and Madhav. Awesome. Next question. 4x square plus 4bx minus a square minus b square is equal to 0. Now, if you want, you can use splitting the middle terms. If you want, you can use uh, factor, sorry, quadratic formula method. Both the method you can use, no problem. Full 2 minute given to solve this question. Come on, everyone. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Sakshi, tomorrow we have class 9th. Pranav, beta, the quiz is working. Tabhi to sare bachche answer de rahe hain. Aap aisa karo, aap uh, incognito tab kholo. Vaha se aap uh, open kar lo. Twenty seconds more. No, Priyanka, this is for CBSC. This class is going on for CBSC. Yeah. 
yes zed and this time again only two students are able to do it right what to do bachcho what to do on the leaderboard nitesh nandita nirmali manpreet uh, only till now giving right answer then we have ritu avinash bhumi kanika onik and dikshit fourth question now on your screen if x minus 1 and x is equal to 3 <clears throat> uh the, where x is not equal to 0 solve it for this question is acha x minus 1 upon x is equal to 3 oh that is the question i was reading it wrong indoor affordable plants are a lot many shivi beta the most affordable is syngonium also known as arrowhead so you can buy that otherwise you can buy a spider plant money plant erica is also <clears throat> no erica will be a little costly apart from that snake plant what else do i have inside my house um then you have purple vine english ivy all these are indoor plants and very cheap you can also grow them for cuttings even the turtle vine is also good x minus 1 upon x is equal to 3 question number 4 acha what was the question number 4 let me just look at the question number 4 i can't see the question wait <clears throat> hmm hmm this was the question here theek hai i will solve i will solve meanwhile you guys solve the next question oh very good this time four students are right finally <laughs> All right, Nirmali, Manpreet, Nitesh, Nandita, Pranav, and Anik are absolutely right. Very good. And now, last question. <clears throat> so, fourth question. क्या था बच्चों? अच्छा, fourth question बनाना बताना है. Not third question. Fourth question यानी जो इससे पहले किया था. अभी जो किया था. That question. Yes, Madha, which question? Sanj, uh, Bhumi, which question you were saying? Question number four was just before this question. That question. Tell me, or you want this question? Four x square plus four b x. Question number three, है ना? ठीक है. Minus a square minus b square is equal to zero. All right. So, can we solve it some other way? Four into a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b, and the sum a plus b into a minus b. Can we do it that way? Hmm. I think we can. Two times of a plus b. Minus a minus a. We can do it uh, by splitting the middle term, है ना? इसको हम splitting the middle term करके भी कर सकते हैं. How? If you split your middle term 4b, 4b को आप अगर split करोगे as two uh, two times of a plus b minus two times of नहीं. You can do it like minus of Two times of a plus b, and uh, plus two times of a minus b. अगर हम ऐसे करेंगे तो नहीं positive इसमें हाँ हाँ I was पहले सही था. Okay, so this will be plus. This will be minus minus a square minus b square is equal to zero. How have I split the middle term? मैंने मिडिल टर्म को स्प्लिट कैसे किया है अगर आप सॉल्व करोगे ना तो आपको पता चलेगा कि 
जब आप इसको इसको सिंप्लीफाई करो क्या आ रहा है बच्चों टू ए प्लस टू बी माइनस टू ए प्लस टू बी टू ए टू ए कैंसिल टू बी टू बी फोर बी समझ में आया मैंने मिडिल टर्म को कैसे स्प्लिट किया है हाउ हैव आई स्प्लिट द मिडिल टर्म आई हैव स्प्लिट द मिडिल टर्म लाइक दिस Now you take out common. So what is common? Of course, x will be there. Don't forget x like me. Now once you take out things common, so two x taken out is common. So what is remaining? Two x plus a plus b is remaining. And from this bracket, I am taking out uh, a minus b as common. So what is remaining? Two x. Plus a plus b that is remaining. So two x plus a plus b one bracket, two x plus a minus b another bracket. Now solve it for the value of x. Okay. So how have I split the middle term? Is question me middle term ko split karna important hai? ठीक है. How have I split the middle term? What have I done? Once again I am showing you guys what I have done over here. so i am i am splitting the middle term such that my product should be equal to 4 minus 4 a square minus b square and my sum should be equal to 4 b hai na mera product jo hai wo minus 4 a square minus b square hona chahiye aur mera sum jo hai wo 4 b hona chahiye theek hai to maine alpha liya 2 times of a plus b and beta liya 2 times of a minus b theek hai ab aap isko solve karo when you will solve it you will get the sum as 4b and you will get the product as the first number okay chalo now let's see the results oh two students again could give it right and we have on the leaderboard Nirmali as the winner. Congratulations, Nirmali. Then Manpreet second and Nitesh third. Very good, very good, very good. Awesome, awesome. Um, क्या बात है नेंदू? That's great. That's great. Ma'am, maths weak है. PCM ले लूँ क्या? Eleventh में bio interest नहीं है. Commerce and arts लेना नहीं है. हाँ भाई PCM ले लो. कोई tension की बात नहीं है. Practice करना बन जाएगा strong. ओके सो निर्मली मनप्रीत एंड नितिश आर द विनर्स फॉर टुडे तो उनको मिलता है स्टार सॉरी आई फॉर द स्टार बैजेस आज मैं स्टार बैजेस पुट करना भूल गई बच्चों सो सॉरी वेरी गुड भूमि वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सो वेल डन वेल डन वेल डन बच्चों कीप सॉल्विंग एंड कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग इट नीड्स अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस ठीक है क्लास टेंथ में आ गए हो प्रैक्टिस नहीं करोगे तो सिर्फ कॉन्सेप्ट समझने से काम नहीं चलेगा यू विल नीड प्रैक्टिस टू गेट द होल्ड ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑल राइट दैट क्वेश्चन एक सेकेंड आई एम नॉट एबल टू सी माई स्क्रीन प्रणव मैं सिंप्लीफाई कर देती हूँ बाकी आप खुद सॉल्व कर लेना ठीक है सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज एक्स माइनस वन अपॉन एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री When we take the LCM, it will be x square minus one upon x is equal to three. So x square minus one is equal to three x. So x square minus three x minus one is equal to zero. Now you put it in the formula. You will get it now. Pranav, asaan hai, bache. It's not tough. Or you can do one thing. You can also split the middle term and solve it, or you can put it in the formula and solve it. ठीक है बोध मेथड ऑफ आई दिस इज इजी ट्राई इट ट्राई करो ओके गाइस सो यस अगर आपको मेरे साथ पढ़ने में मजा आया और आप चाहते हो मेरी क्लासेस अटेंड करना वेदांतों के प्लेटफॉर्म पर भी जहां आप मेरे साथ मिलकर मैथ्स uh, को सुपर इजी सब्जेक्ट बना सकते हो देन जॉइन इन वेदांतों प्रो क्लासेस We will be providing you everything over there. Complete, complete preparation of class ten with your online classes of maths, physics, chemistry, biology, SST, English. Your all doubts solved within the class itself. Lot of quizzes and polls and leaderboards for your practice. Regular test series every fourteen days. All India test series like your pre-board exams assignments. 
for your practice of objective as well as subjective type of question, PDF class notes and study material in the form of Tattva book. And all of this you are getting at a very, very minimal price that you have to pay. And also you will get a 10 percentage ka discount if you use my coupon code SKE PRO. Okay, so AI live classes for 8100, just mein aap pure saal ke 6 subject ki padhai kar sakte ho at just 8000 rupees. Pro light for the students who get a lot of doubts. So, you will get a doubt solving app. You will get a doubt solving for master teachers hi milenge, live in the class. And uh, plus, Tattva book ki hard copy bhi milegi. That is the extra benefit that you are getting. Anik, please try to do that question yourself. I don't have time right now to explain that. So, sorry. Theek hai. Okay, so how to enroll this course? The link is given in the description of the video. Click on the link, go to the website and enroll. Mera coupon code zaroor use karna, SKE Pro to get 10% ka discount. Alright, thank you so much everyone. See you all in the next class. Till then, take care. Ta-da!